In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to create a stellar online reputation. Now, this video is geared more towards local service based businesses. So if you own a local service based business and you're looking to get better online reviews, this is definitely the video to watch. And if you're new here, my name is Michelle. I'm the founder of Level 28 Media and I help local service-based businesses generate leads through Google Ads. So if you are interested in an audit or managed services, check out the link in the description below and I'd be more than happy to have a consultation with you. Now, if you've been watching my videos for some time, you know that my channel is mainly focused on Google Ads and paid search. So you might be wondering, why am I talking about online reputation? And the answer to that's pretty simple. It's because if we're driving paid traffic to your landing page or website, no amount of ad dollars can fix a bad online reputation because someone's going to a landing page, they're gonna see all these amazing things that you're putting there about yourself, but then they're gonna wanna go do research on Yelp, Google, any other industry related a review site to see what our customers or clients actually saying about you. Um, so that's why I wanted to talk about this topic because it is adjacent to paid search. If you don't have an online stellar, stellar online reputation, it's going to be really hard for you to generate real revenue um, and great results coming from your paid search campaigns. So let's go ahead and talk about what online reputation is. I'm going to back it up here. Online reputation is a perception of a company as it appears online. Uh, it's shaped by various factors like content, social media, tags, interactions, and it can be composed of customer reviews, social media presence, your uh, search engine results, and every business has a reputation. That's why this is important. We need to address this. Think Fortune 500 companies like Walmart, Amazon, Apple, and small businesses just like yours. Every business has a reputation. Now, let's talk about four strategies to improve your online reputation now. So the first is to improve your online reviews. Bright Local did a survey a while back. 75% of consumers always or regularly read online reviews. That is quite a bit of people that will actually take time out of their day to go see what are your customers or clients saying about you. So this means reviews factor into whether a prospective customer will want to reach out to you or not and do business with you. And if you're a local service-based business, reviews are very, very, very critical. Because even if you spend thousands on ads, if you have no reviews or bad reviews, it can hurt your conversion rates and overall revenue. So I'm gonna talk about how to get more reviews. Let's start over here. Number one is asking customers directly. Businesses don't do this enough. You can have your staff do it. You can do it yourself. Um, happy customers will often participate in this. And the more you're proactive about this, the better, because if someone does end up writing you a negative review, at least the positive reviews are going to outweigh that. So really focus on getting as many positive reviews as possible and getting them directly and asking directly from your uh, customers or patients or um, whoever you're serving. Next, make it really easy to leave reviews. Um, so here's an example. You, you can use QR codes that link to your review sites, or if you have a short URL, a bit.ly. Um, adding QR codes to your physical storefront or business cards also make it easier. So you guys know when you go to a restaurant these days, most menus uh, will appear through QR codes um, since COVID. And you can make things as simple as having a QR code so people can easily go to your review sites to leave reviews. Uh, and the last um, way um, here is 
user review management platform. I'm just mentioning BirdEye and Podium. I don't have any affiliation with them, but essentially they'll just send out text messages to ask customers or clients for reviews. You don't need to incentivize people. In fact, incentivizing people can actually get you in trouble by some of um, some of these review websites like Yelp and, and Google because it's against their policies. Oh, by the way, when it comes to BirdEye and Podium, if you don't want to use a paid service, you can manually just send out texts. That could work just as well too. But these just make things a lot easier. Uh, number two here, build a user-friendly, responsive website. I talk about this all the time when it comes to where to send paid traffic to. We talk about landing pages, but let's talk about user-friendly websites. Customers use your website to learn more about your business and inquire about your services. This just makes it easier to find you online if you have a user-friendly, responsive site. And it helps with your online reputation. Uh, the website should list your services, which are all about your unique selling points and your contact information, of course, and ensure the website is mobile and desktop friendly. If you have any questions or want a deep dive into this topic, I have a podcast that I did with Stu Atkins. I'll link it in the description below on what makes a great website. Check that out. Um, but the last thing I wanted to leave you with here on this topic is leveraging testimonials. Use your positive reviews and testimonials in your marketing materials. That's going to be really important on your website, on your brochures, or any type of marketing collateral that you have. Number three is claiming your listings. So your listings are the pages that exist on Google My Business, Yelp, the Better Business Bureau, Facebook. Many people use these websites. Um, it's important to claim your listings so you have profiles to these sites. And if your name, address, and phone number are accurate, it helps with your local SEO and makes it easier for customers to contact you. And customers can easily leave reviews on these different platforms, so it's going to be important for you to also check and make sure that you are addressing any reviews that are coming through. Number four is having a presence on social media. Posting on sites like TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook can increase your brand awareness, educate viewers on your brand um, and service. Then also, depending on the industry you're in, this can bring in direct business by having a social media presence. Uh, think nail salons and restaurants. The more presence you have, the more people are going to think that you guys are actually active and trying to put yourself out there. So that's why it's important to be there. You don't have to post every single day, but if you want to be seen and heard, that's going to be the recommendation. Uh, I'm not a social media expert by any means for organic, but I will say that if you do want to be seen, you've got to ramp up the cadence of posting because... Uh, it's, it's very competitive, um, to be seen and you know, the social media algorithms really favor, uh, creators and businesses that post often and post valuable content often. So I want you to remember your online reputation is the first impression of your business to a customer. Business owners are always worried about sales. Sometimes they don't think about their online presence or reputation. But in an era where so many customers and clients are going to the internet for research, you must have a great online reputation. And if it's you know poor or non-existent, this will reflect poorly on your business. People are not going to trust you. And right now, we're in a trust recession. People want to know who they're working with. People have their guards up. And especially in, you know, at the time that I'm recording this in September of 2024, uh, people are holding on to their purse strings really tight. And with the economy being the way that it is right now, in order to win a customer over, it's going to take having not just 
a strong offer, but also a great online reputation. So if you have any questions on this topic, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. Please let me know uh, what was your biggest insight from this, uh, from this video. I'd love to hear. And let me know what you are going to go ahead and implement yourself. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you.